Let's talk about sex a little bit. Um, who, how many of you guys think you're, you're very comfortable with sex? Raise your hand if you're very comfortable with sex, okay. Um, how many of you think you're uncomfortable with sex or have some sexual shame going on? Oh, interesting. Usually more people say they're very comfortable with sex than, than that. Um, how much do you think that affects your dating life, meeting women? A lot, a lot, huge. Why? Okay. You're going out there trying to achieve something. You're trying to get to uh -huh. uh, trying to get to the destination as part of the journey by having a sex uh -huh. life and interacting and being intimate with women. And then there's this thing that's completely holding you down or holding you back that you have to look at it, acknowledge to melt to be able to move forward. Uh, do you enjoy sex? How many of you guys enjoy sex? How many of you think sex is work? It's stressful. Sex is work. It's stressful. Do you ever think sex is work? It's stressful. I have to please women. I have to show up. It's a... Uh, so when you get it, you're comfortable. Do you, How comfortable are you when you get it? Can you tell a woman... First off, how, how, when you start to date a woman, how, at what point do you feel it's safe? to start talking about sex. Sexuality, sexual topics, saying you like sex, what you like about sex. How, how long does that take you? Can you do it, does it take you two or three dates? Can you do it the first date? Can you do it the first hour? Can you do it in 10 minutes? Can you do it one minute? Thanks, Jim. I think it depends on who you're dating as well. It depends on how the interaction is going and how you guys are, well, you want to, you know, you know, or you know, dating, how it's, you know, how, yeah, how the interaction is going to be. Mm -hmm. There's a connection. So you're saying that you, it depends on how she responds to you, whether you can talk about sex. No, I mean, if, you know, you guys are connecting, you know, like having a good time and then... <laughs> So you, yeah, you, you, so in other words, you got to have a good connection, how she's responding to you, right. to be able to talk about sex. Okay, cool. Would most do you agree? Yeah. What would happen if you just walked up and brought up sex right away? <laughs> so. I mean, you, can, you have to calibrate. I, I think it's like anything else. It's not like one firm rule, hard rule. I think you can do it in the first 10 minutes if you feel like you... But it's, again... It's the energy. But what would happen if you, if you stopped calibrating and you just start, you, you stop saying, I'm going to figure out what you want and I just walk up and talk about sex? Yeah, but it's like walking with the hand up, head up and then maybe the pelvis for it. Like what you just showed me, it's going to be the same reaction. Maybe, happens. maybe. Well, if you don't calibrate, you, got to, you may get some yeses, but you're going to get a lot. Well, you're calibrating yeah. you, but stop trying to calibrate her. What would happen if you just started talking about sex and you stopped trying to calibrate her? He only calibrated you. Do you get what I mean by that? No. You still calibrate, right? You calibrate the energy that you perceive. It's still calibration. So you it's calibrate kind of the energy you put out, not what, you, not what you're getting no, back. Yeah, it's a technical word, but yeah. So what would happen, what, if I sent you out tonight and I said the first thing out of your mouth within 10 seconds is to ask the girl um, something about sex. Like, what, do you like sex? Do you like, what's your favorite position? Um, do you have a naughty side? Uh, and you had to do that like 10 times in a row. How many of you would be comfortable doing that? You may as well shoot me. Huh? You may as well shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. How many of you um, uh, can talk dirty to a girl when sex? Like really raunchy, dirty, nasty. Getting you can? Okay. How about you? Getting there. Getting there? To a certain level. To a certain level. What level? <laughs> um, uh, I don't even know. It's just like I can feel myself like holding back a little bit still. Uh -huh. That's really it. It's like I can say so much and then I'm like, ah, I'll skip that one. If you, were, <laughs> if you were sitting there and somebody caught you 
looking at the, a, uh, a naked picture of a girl, like you picked up a magazine and started to peek at it, and somebody caught you, like some random stranger, how would you feel? Probably embarrassed a little bit. Okay, would all of you feel that way? Yeah. yeah. What if it was a hot chick walked by and you were staring at a, 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 you know, you were staring at a penthouse magazine or something? Would you suddenly put it down? Would you just close it until she left, or would you actually put it away? <laughs> Didn't know that was in there. <laughs> Freezing, yeah. Okay. Okay, good. So, uh, so you said so you said to a point talking dirty. What is a point? What can you say? Uh, I mean, things you shared. My little dirty girl, things like that. I mean, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, just little things like that. So who, who um, so th the reason I bring this up is I want to see how you all react. And notice how everybody's getting a little uncomfortable, right? It's not bad. I've seen people get really shameful when they bring this up. I mean, to the point where the girls are over here just like, because it's get, they, there's so much shame goes into the room. In actuality, in our modern society, there's so much shame around our body parts. Like, 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 say pussy. Pussy. How do you feel? Look at the girls and say pussy. Pussy. How do you feel? I, I don't know. It's like just uh, yeah, I, shutting it off. Well, you are. Yeah. You, now look at the girls. Mm -hmm. Take a moment for your legs. Okay. For your stomach. All right. Feel them. Mm -hmm. Pick one of them. Look in her eyes deeply and say pussy. How does it feel to you? A little better. Okay, good. Now I want you to come up with a sentence. What? I want you to come up, look at her, come okay. up with a sentence of your own. All right. Any, any dirty sentence. All right. I'd like to lick the inside out. Okay, how did that make you feel? I did it. Yeah. Did it, did it border on creepy, or was yeah, it creepy? Yeah, definitely bordered on creepy. Okay. But, but I almost don't want to like, I don't, I almost don't want to say that because I don't want you to confuse that it's not what you were the saying words. that is creepy. It's how, how you're how, writing okay. that is okay. creepy. Yeah. Because, okay. yeah, it, you know, who, that who, could be very sexy if you say it to me the right way. Who could who can say something? Has their own set of words they think they can say and make work right now? Anybody? Nobody. <laughs> you're you're, so you're, so you're turning so red right now. So Jesus. Red. I can't, I can't pull it off. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're like you're gonna blow many minutes. Just a boom, blood all over the walls. Uh, yeah, you're very close to your shirt. Yeah. Um, so. So notice how much shame there is around sex. Yeah. Is sex really the problem? The topic of sex, talking about sex, enjoying sex, liking sex, is it really a problem? We make it a problem. We talk about it like it's a problem. Like how many of you guys, do you realize whenever you approach a girl anywhere, at any time, to say, I like you, you're interesting, I wanna go on a date with you, what's the implied message? Yeah. So do you think that any sexual shame whatsoever in your bodies at all that you might be holding might be affecting the way you approach women? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now think about a natural guy who's really comfortable with women. Does he have any problems bringing up sex? No. If I asked him to go out and talk to 10 girls tonight about sex, how hard would that be for him? Not at all. Yeah, not at all. There's a thing Zan likes to talk about, and I think it's interesting. Um, he says he had a friend, he said it was the weirdest thing, and he says, my friend, he just loved boobs. He loved boobs so much, he thought they were the most amazing, beautiful thing. And we'd go out and he'd see a girl with, with, with boobs he liked or tits he liked, and he'd, he'd just go, walk over to her, and he said this, this, this would work every time. He says, I would be shocked every time. He'd be like, oh my God, your tits are amazing. And she'd be like, what? You know, and he'd talk about that. He's like, no, really, I mean, look at, your tits are amazing. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm being really rude, I know, but I'm just so enamored by, oh, I'm sorry, I should leave. No, but, but they're just so beautiful. And then he would say, every time he goes, he'd go, like a kid in a, with his hand in a candy jar, he'd go, 
uh, in a cookie jar, he'd go, can I see them? And she'd be like, no, and she'd pull away. And he'd go, I'm sorry, that was rude, but I just really want to see them. It's, I, I probably should leave. And he goes, and almost every time the girl would say, okay, come here. And they'd go somewhere and she'd go, okay, is that good enough? Why? Was he ashamed? Was he embarrassed? Was he making it wrong? Was he making tits bad? Was he appreciating them? Was he enjoying them? Was he making her feel beautiful in a weird sort of way? <laughs> he was like a kid. He was actually had this little kid-like energy of innocence. And it was so innocent in a weird sort of way. The girls kind of like, they got off a little bit on, on showing him. 